Dropping anchor was a rare but memorable experience for members of the First Division. Intrepid crew members describe what it was like. We only dropped anchor twice while I was on board, and um, it was impressive. <laughs> well, first of all, aircraft carriers try not to use their anchors. You always want to bring your ship alongside a pier, but there are ports that you go to that just don't have a good pier to pull alongside. So you have to first get the anchor ready, and we have these big pelican hooks basically what holds the anchor and the chain in place on the forecastle. And when they give the word, they, they call down and they tell them, drop anchor. Now they've already let the brake off, and so all the pressure is on this pelican hook. And one guy yanks that line and it pulls the pin out of the pelican hook. The second guy, he has to like take a golf swing with a sledgehammer and hit this bale and that loosens, it opens up the pelican hook, and that slides out from an under the chain, and the anchor just goes. If you can just imagine, I think each link of the chain weighs something like 150 pounds, but when you hear metal hitting metal going out that fast, the sound of those is just, well, oh, it's noisy, very noisy. Now, as soon as they let that go, there's a guy on the brake. There's a brake wheel there. And it, well, actually, there's two guys. There's two sailors over there. And they are desperately turning that to apply the brake to the capstan, which slows the chain from going out. Because if you don't, the chain's just going to keep coming. And when, when it reaches its end, the weight of it is just going to break where it's welded to the, uh, to the wall down in, in the chain locker. It's just gonna break that off and it's just gonna come up and, and I don't even wanna think about what it would do up there. And it's, it's a very, very dangerous situation. You know, it's, not, it, it's nothing that an untrained person should try to ever try to do. On the other hand, if you did it right, it wasn't dangerous. We did so much maintenance on the anchor and anchor chains to make sure everything was operating fine. Clearly, the engineers who had designed it knew what they were doing. 